What is going on guys? My name is Crimson Seabad and we are back here with a Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle and today we are going up against Twainus McMad. The link to his Twitter is going to be down below in the description. And we are back today. We're representing the uh, we're representing the comeback as it were. And today we're having a UU Wi-Fi battle. So we're going to hop right on into this. Take a picture of his team, all that good stuff. Make sure that if you guys do ever want a chance to battle me, hit me up on Twitter. Link's going to be down there. As well as the link to my Twitch if you want to follow me on there for me stream. And as well as the link for our Detroit Steel Wing shirts available on Teespring. We do have shirts celebrating that we are a part of the GBA. It is our very first shirt, period. So if you guys want to help support me, please cop that. Tweet me a picture if you do end up picking one up. It means so much to me. Um... I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wearing one every Sunday when we go into battle the GBA for the GBA. So if you guys do pick one up, like I said, let me know so I can definitely thank you for that. Let's see, Twainus is bringing wow, this man. Okay, so this man's bringing an Arcanine, a Zorark, a Furfrow, an Aerodactyl, probably Mega Aerodactyl, Nido Queen, and Blastoise. So honestly, if I had to predict something to come in. I predict him leading off with that Zorark to get some kind of, like, advantage up on me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with... Yeah, we are bringing the Galvantula, the Darmanitan, Kingdra, Noivern, Hippowdon, and Tentacruel. And I'm going to lead off with Galvantula because I'm going to be able to get the webs up if this thing is a Specs, Scarf, whatever you have it. Um, uh, probably a Specs, Zorark. If he decides to go for like a flamethrower or something, you know, we'll live that. It'll bring us down to our sash. We'll be able to get the webs up. And then we will also be able to uh, get a bug buzz off next turn. Actually, leads off the Needle Queen. So the Needle Queen is going to come through and set up rocks. Um, I'm actually going to switch out on this. No, I don't want to switch out to Tentacruel because this thing is going to carry the e EQ or an Earth Power, depending on what set he's running. Um, I'm going to stay in and I'm just going to get the web up. Let me open up the picture of his team again. Just goes for the Flamethrower. Okay. He's going to go for the Flamethrower. Bring us down to our Sash. It is the Zorark. And he gets the burn. I am... <laughs> I literally said he's going to lead off with the Zorark. Okay, well, we got the webs up. I'm going to switch on to Noivern, and I'm going to just U-turn it. I'm just going to hit this thing with a U-turn really quick. should do a fair amount of damage. Yup. There it is. There it is. Rosalie the Zorark. Um, I'm gonna go on to Christmas present to take this hit. Get the sand up. I'll be able to get the rocks up as well, definitely. Just goes for the Dark Pulse. It's stab. Uh, we're not specially defensive, but we are going to be able to take it. It does 100, so we are going to be able to live. We are going to be able to live with that. Um, let's take this opportunity and set up the rocks. Just goes for another Dark Pulse. Hopefully he does not get the flinch here, so we can set up these rocks. There it is. I do want to preserve this thing. I do want to preserve this thing and seeing how it's very specially offensive, I'm going to switch on a tentacruel to take the dark balls. There it is. Okay, so we're going to be able to eat that up. He's going to get buffeted by the sandstorm. We can actually set up toxic spikes. Um, unfortunately, he does have the Nido Queen in, so what we could do is we could try and force a switch. We set up toxic spikes, and then we... Um, Actually, I wonder what this thing is. This thing holding something? I'm gonna set up a layer of toxic spikes. I'm gonna hopefully force the switch. Extra sensory. Wow. 
Okay, so we can, we can still eat that up here on a super effective damage. I'm going to set up the Toxic Spikes, and I'm hopefully going to force a switch into the Nido Queen with this. So now I'm just going to go for the Scald straight up. I've taken enough time setting up Hazards. I got Sandstorm up, I got Toxic Spikes, I got a Web up. So I'm just going to go for the Scald here. Goes for the extra sensory again. We can still eat that up, unless it's a crit. Nope, not a crit. Okay. So there you go. He's going to take that skull. Okay. So first blood on his side has been drawn, definitely. Sandstorm goes down, thankfully, so we can get that Black Sludge recovery back. We should be able, honestly, anything on his team at minus one. Um, we should be able to outspeed. Except, obviously, the Aerodactyl. Goes out to Noah. So he's gonna get caught in the sticky web and he is gonna get the poison damage. It's a shame because we should have actually gone with another layer of poison spikes. But I am gonna go ahead and knock off this thing's leftovers. Retaliate. So down goes Squilliam. So we have, we did lose our spinner, unfortunately. Um what we can do to get, since this thing is such a tank, we can go back out into um, Hippowdon. And we can get the Sandstorm back up so we can get more damage off of this thing. And then we can get the rocks up as well. So you've got web, one layer, spikes, and rocks. I don't know if this thing wants to carry anything else that can hurt me. So he's just going to talk to me. He's still out speeds. That's crazy. So we're going to be able to get more rocks up. We're going to take toxic damage. Um, not really sure what else this thing wants to do necessarily. Because we're pretty bulky. We're going to be able to take... We should be able to at least take one hit. With as bulky as we are. So we can just go for an EQ. We can go for an EQ. If he predicts that and goes into the Aerodactyl, that's why we're boned a little bit. We could have went for a Thunderfang or something. But he's going to use Refresh, actually. Okay. So he's going to catch this EQ. It's not doing much at all. We need to we really need to get in with um we really need to get in with Noivern. Um, if I can live whatever this thing wants to do to me, we can just use Toxic on it. I'm gonna go for Retaliate. Um, okay, we do live that, so we are gonna be able to get a Toxic off, so we can at least predict that he's gonna go for a Refresh next turn. I was expecting this thing to have, like, Cotton Guard or something and just set up all over me, but definitely is not. So if the Toxic kills us now, we can just go straight down to Noivern. Okay. It does kill us. Truth be told, looking at his team, we could go into Kingdra and set up a... Let's go into Kingdra. Let's set up a Focus Energy with Kingdra. set up focus energy and then depending on what he wants to do he goes for a sucker punch actually okay so we can go for the focus energy and then we're gonna go for a dragon dance considering all this thing carries is it looks like refresh toxic um actually i don't want to take that toxic damage so i think we may have to bite the bullet on a sucker punch hmm What's our defense? What's our defense? Is it worth it to get the D-Dance up? I think it's worth it to get the D-Dance up. I'm going to go for the D-Dance. Okay, so now he's going to go for a Toxic or a Retaliate. So he's just going to go for the Toxic. So we could have went for the Waterfall and just taken this thing out. Um, unfortunately, though, we're not going to be able to do that.
Okay, so the sandstorm dies down. This thing's gonna die to poison damage, which is good. So now I'm assuming he's gonna go into the Blastoise. Because we hit everything else really hard with Kingdra. And nothing resists the dragon, so we could just go for an Outrage. Um, I think that's our best bet. We're gonna get the Sticky Web, we're gonna get Rocks, and we're gonna poison this thing a little bit. I'm just gonna go for the Outrage here. We're at plus one. We've got... We've got the Focus Energy up. This thing... It should hurt. It was the crit. The crit came through. Okay, so... What we have left to deal with, we have the uh, Needle Queen, we have the Arcanine, and we have the Aerodactyl. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to outspeed the Aerodactyl if it's Mega, which it is. Um, hmm. Not really too sure that thing wants to go down. Uh, so he's going to come in, he's going to go with Arc de Triomphe, the Arcanine. So it's going to be at minus one. Uh, he's probably might just go for an E-speed just to get, um, just to get damage off, really. So Arcade Triumph. Oh, he gets the Intimidate off. Not even bad. Not even bad. Okay. So we are just going to stay in. We're locked in Outrage. That's what we have to do. Um, just go for the Extreme Speed to get the damage off. Um, that does a lot of damage. That's a Choice Bandit Arcanine. So we are going to be able to take this thing out, hopefully. Crit. Crit City. Crit City. I've never used a Kingdra. I've never used a Kingdra, fun fact. I wanted to bring a Kingdra to this. Uh, it is only a two-turn Outrage, unfortunately, so we do become confused. And now we've got, um, now we got Poison Damage Dragon up. So if we can live, uh, he's going to go on the Needle Queen, so he's saving that Aerodactyl for a late game sweep, which is possible, because Aerodactyl, Mega Aerodactyl is super scary in my opinion. So he's going to be at minus one. Let's just go for this Waterfall. Breakthrough, come on Kingdra, Breakthrough, Breakthrough, Breakthrough. Nope, Kingdra does not Breakthrough. Okay. So now what we have left is we've got the goes for the ice beam. Okay. I'm just gonna go on a Darmanitan. Darmanitan's gonna hit this thing really hard with that flare blitz. Could have went for a stone edge. Um so that way we're locked in when the Aerodactyl comes in, but we are gonna be able to switch out and go into uh Neuvern. So we do take a butt ton of damage. So now I don't know, I actually don't know what this Mega Aerodactyl wants to do. It does take 25% to rocks. Let's hold this Flare Blitz, hopefully. Let's see. There comes all doing the Mega Aerodactyl. Nice Skyrim reference. I appreciate you, Twainus. Goes for the Rock Slide. Oh! Oh, uh, okay. Hopefully Neuvern cannot speed. I think we're Specs, not Scarfed. So it's a battle of the dragons, kind of, sort of. And I'm just going to go for a Draco. Oh, come on, live, 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 live. Come on, come on, Neuvern. Come on, Neuvern. Come on, Neuvern. Nope, that is GG. That is... Ah, uh, Mega Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl. What can I say about you? So, Twainus, thank you so much for that battle. That was a really good game. Uh, that Mega Aerodactyl definitely came through with the late game sweep. So, if you guys, like I said, the link to his Twitter is going to be down in the description below. So, please make sure you guys go check him out. Because, as you can see, he's obviously a really good battler. That uh, that end game with the Mega Aerodactyl is just way too good, in my opinion. So, that being said, guys, my name is Crimson Seabed. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. We got GBA content. We got Wi-Fi battles. We have the Alpha Sapphire Navlock coming. We've got Battle Spot. We stream. We do a bunch of stuff over here. So it's not to enjoy. So like I said, come hang out over here. Hit that subscribe button. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button as well. That being said, my name is Crimson Seabed, and I will talk to you all soon. Later, guys.